Hi folks, winter is over but spring isn't showing its beauty until now. Still cold nights and wet days. During winter 2018-2019 I was spending quite of my leisure time working on QLE, the QL software environment distribution and uh, I was working very hard between October and April, spent more than 100 hours developing and testing with the goal to make sure that QLE is very flexible and adapts itself to as many QL platforms as possible. And on my desk you see five different computer systems running QLE. So a lot of work went into working on QLE for Minerva based platforms such as the original Sinclair QL with 640k or more with QLSD or a FPGA variant of the QL like the Mist here running the QL core with 896k of RAM running Minerva and uh, still having some 288k of free RAM. Also quite some work went into making sure that the Q68 is properly supported with all the video modes and audio and everything. Here QLE is running on Q68 in the Aurora mode. Also quite some work went into backward compatibility for uh, the QXL card on DOS base PC and QPC1 the QL emulator under DOS. QPC1 on this uh, notebook is running QLE with some limited features because SMS QE version of QPC1 is quite outdated so no high color and stuff like that. Uh, quite a nightmare was uh, the job of making sure uh, QLE also works properly under uh, Linux, under UQLX. On this notebook uh, I'm running uh, 32-bit Linux and under it uh, the 32-bit Intel edition of UQLX. This version also supports TCP IP and the Internet and uh, under UQLX uh, the operating system is Minerva and uh, QLE runs with about similar features than on the Sinclair QL with uh, the addition of higher graphics resolutions and as said uh, TCP IP and the internet. So QLE version 3.19 has been released at the end of April and is available for download on the SinclairQL.net website. Uh, just go to the QLE section and uh, you will find uh, the zip file with the whole distribution here for download. Most of the work for QLE and with QLE was done using QPC2, my favorite virtual QL, and uh, QLE version 3.19 comes with many formerly commercial applications now also uh, QD, QMake, QLiberator, QSpread, Fifi and many more are included. And uh, also included is the QMovie video player from Marcel Kelgas. And to show the features of uh, the movie player I was uh, preparing a short one minute video of the 1984 January 12th Sinclair QL launch event press conference 
and uh, I will end this video with showing the capabilities of QMUV under QPC2 showing this short video. So go to the SinclairQL.net website, download latest version of QLE, unpack it and uh, try it and have fun with QLE, QL forever and uh, I wish you all the best and uh, take care. Now I should find Q movie. Here it is. But unlike the BBC machine, it will not be made overseas. Enjoy the video. <laughs> it will be made in Britain exclusively um, for the foreseeable future. It's produced initially for us by Thorny MI. We've been searching the world for the best talent and we've been pulling people, having to pull um, brain drain people back from the States. It is coming along well. I'm sorry, but that's all I can say about it again. <laughs> This is a 32-bit machine, a combination of features that make it work well. Thank you, Carl. To your right-hand side. To us in third. Thank you very much. If you want to see the Sinclair QL launch event video full screen, you better download QLE and try it yourself. That's it for now. As said, all the best and take care.